How come there are so many gastrointestinal issues, problems, diseases, and conditions worldwide, not just in your country, but throughout the entire world? Because of so many refined and processed foods. In a nutshell, what does that mean? That means they're stripping the fiber out of those foods. Those foods are sitting on the shelves in those boxes for weeks, even months, or even years because of that refined process. Unfortunately, who's suffering? We're suffering. Fiber does so many magical things for our bodies. From heart disease to lowering triglycerides and cholesterol, sustaining normal insulin and glucose levels, helping prevent constipation, preventing gas, preventing reflux, the list goes on. Now there are two kinds of fiber. Insoluble fiber found in fruits and vegetables, nuts and grains. That's indigestible. While it does move through the digestive process, it's not absorbed. It just passes through because the body's unable to digest this fiber. It leads to a longer duration of feeling full after a meal. Look at fiber as a scrub brush effect. It's a brush just getting in there and scraping out the bad bacteria, pushing it out, pushing the waste toxins out, not allowing that waste to sit in there for long periods, which eventually can lead to more toxins throughout our body that make its way through the colon into our bloodstream. Auto-intoxication. So here's your homework. Google soluble and insoluble fibers and understand the difference. The foods that you now can choose from in the future, the ones that you enjoy, will make a huge difference. That fiber will make you poop regularly, I promise you. But you must add lots of water, lots of fluid, that is so important. That will help detoxify your system, it will increase peristalsis in your intestines, and prevent many, many problems. Check out the link in the profile bio or description box if you want to take good care of your gut health.